What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Max Set from AGS. Now if you did miss the last one, I'd recommend going to check that out first. We make a little bit of money and it kind of dictates what upgrades we're going to get in this episode. Anyway, we have 49 mil cash in inventory. This is the gear we have. It is another max gear uh, day. Now I asked you guys what upgrades we were going to get and the three ones we could get were either get the armored chest plate or I could get both the suffering and the bulwark and I think that's what I'm going to do because that's two defensive options if a team does get on me. I think uh, that'd be really nice. So I'm just going to try and buy this for like 15800k and then I'll buy a bunch of recoils for it as well. So I'll just buy like, I don't know, 200 recoils or however many I can buy. I don't know if how many you can even put in. Then I'm also going to buy the bulwark, also known as the door as well for about, I don't know, 20 mil. That's puts my cash stack down to, oh, that didn't even buy. That's mad awkward. I think this is going up quite a bit because of raids too. So it might actually cost quite a bit of money. I'll just put it in for 25 mil. I'll just buy it for whatever it buys for. 20.6 mil there you go and uh yeah we have a 13 mil cash stack i'm just gonna unimbue this b ring for now but i'm gonna keep it i just want to get the point so i can uh so i can imbue the suffering and uh yeah let's go check our risk and let's go peking all right imbued sears ring i just bought a bucket of sand by mistake let's go put some rings of recalls in this and let's go peking all right we are fully kitted up now let us check how much we are risking for today's video it's going to be quite a bit i think close to 300 mil 274 mil is what our gear is worth right now. Obviously, we do protect the arcane, so we only risk 128 mil if we die to like an AGS G ball or something. But it's very easy for a team to smite us if we get brewed down and we just get fucked. But we have 274 mil gear, most richest and best gear we've had probably this whole series. This is what we're looking like. Hopefully, we don't die right away and we can get some nice kills. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys later. Oh my god, that's a noob if I've ever seen one. Is he trading some rev ki killer right now to do a little split? I'm not going to be able to catch the freeze, am I? Okay, I just caught the freeze. That's a big one as well. He's already praying melee. Come on, give me a big ball. He's in robes. Honestly, I'm just going to chuck it. Oh, I put on chivalry for the spec. My prayers are weird. That's hella awkward. I thought my piety was right there. That's not good. Catch a big freeze. Let's just pray melee right here. Is he just going to bolt me back? I feel like he is. So let's just eat the angler there. Let's pray range. I don't know what this guy's spec up in is. Nor do I intend on finding out. Let's just pray mage here. I kind of want to smite him though. I don't know what his plus one is though. Come on, big bolt. A Jessen. I put on chivalry again. I'm so stupid in the brain. Why is it there? I thought it, I always thought it was like a step to the right. That is so weird. All right, let's catch a freeze here. Check out the smite again. Oh, there's the A Jess. Oh my god. He really went in with that. Come on, catch the refreeze. There we go. Yo, chill, dude. This guy's fucking gonna kill me. Who's this on the hill? I don't trust it. Let's catch a freeze. Oh, it's some pure. I don't trust it at all. Keep drinking the bruise. This guy has, like, non-stop surprises for me right now. Can I catch the refreeze, please? There we go. Nice. Let's put a bolt in. Zero bolt. Come on. I have to put on piety for that whip. Give me some good whip hits right now. Big freeze. Another zero. We're not going to get this kill, I don't think. We're just hitting two uh, shit. Big bolt. Come on, one big whip. And this prayers are really messing me up right now. Freeze him. I think that's a refreeze. That guy gated him, I'm pretty sure. 16 whip. Come on. 34. He's going to change his prayers, right? Oh, he's going for the last dip attempt. Come on. Whip KO. Whip KO. Just barrage him out. Barrage him out. That demon hit me. Jeez, look at my gear. Yeah, I'm looking at it, bro. That's really nice. Thanks to this guy for gating him, bro. Oh, it's RNG. Love me. This guy almost got away. Bro, okay. I need to figure out what's going on with this chivalry and piety situation. I keep clicking my uh, my chivalry. Let's pick it all up. Bro, you just skulled up to box me. Okay, I'm actually really surprised I got that kill because my prayers were messed up and I, was, I kept fucking about. But we still got... 335k loot out of it. He didn't have like a spirit shield or an ancient staff or anything, so it could be more, but you know, he's a water stick warrior. Unscald Zerker. Let's just attack him real quick. Going for the spec? Is he one hit? He's genuinely just one hit. Well, that was fun. I wonder if this 122 will skull up on me. This guy just got like two hit. Let's pick up his loot, see what we got. Obviously, can't pick up everything, but he we did get his mystics, even though he's unscald, and his granite mall. So still 270k loot off an unscald guy. Good fight. I was gonna attack that other guy if he stayed here, but he just ran for the hills. 
Okay, so this guy I just killed claimed he DC'd, but let's just be honest. He got one hit and he's kind of embarrassed. And now he said he wanted a real fight. I guess he's got something to prove. Or he's just trying to bait me, to be honest. Let's chuck up a smite, going for a whip hit there. My toxic stuff is out of scale, so after this we're going to have to go buy uh, some scales for that. Let's go for the whip hit there. Only a three. Got to be careful. I don't know what attack level he is. Okay, so he's 70 attack because he has a... I mean, he's probably 75 attack because he has an iron staff, so... He could have an AGS GMO. So, got to be careful of that, obviously. He's got a recoil doing some passive damage. He's brewed up to full like near the same. Let me just restore back up there. Because he could AGS GMO me for, you know, a lot of money. And I wouldn't be too happy with that, if I'm going to be honest. Let's chuck up a smite again. Going for a freeze. Chuck up a smite. We're hitting zeros on this man. He's like 45 defense. I don't know why he's doing this, to be honest. Going for another bolt. Oh, he could AGS me there. There it is. We got a prayer on. Is he just going to run now? I feel like he might just run now. Catch a freeze now. Big one. And for the spec, dead. Oh, he got his prayers on. I still hit a 30. Jesus. Take off the helm, going for a big bolt. Nice. Oh, I think he just drank a restore there because he's going to get smited for the AGS. And uh, I bolt KO'd him. I could have got an AGS if he ate food instead of restore, so that was smart by him. Let's pick up his skull loot this time. Hopefully he doesn't claim a DC on that one, and let's get out of here. Good fight. All right, quick price check. He had a spirit shield this time, obviously, because he's scald. 400k this time. Good fight, dude. This guy's name is Criminal. It's very badly spelled, however, but, I mean, it's still name is Criminal. Let's take him out the game. Boom! Oh, he's not even dead. That's awkward. He's dead now, though. You know, we're a good guy. We take out the criminals, you know? We're helping out the... the world. That's a new one. It's not even a Salad Robes Warrior. It's a Moon Clan Warrior. What is he up to? Honestly, I'm just gonna kill him anyway because he's skulled. Love your vids too, I do. Imagine this guy's a plus one I can take. Spare me? Uh, that's not how it works, bro. And if you really love the vids, you'd know that. So you're obviously a liar, and we have to take out the liars. You're just a slave t -beer. Well, now you're dead t -beer. Yep, good fight. Sorry, Mr. I'm Carito. Did you have anything for us? Uh, some red bracelets, blah, 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 blah. When we're in this gear... We attack everybody, we kill everybody, because no one really fights us. And if we do fight them, you know, we probably do kill them. Just realized this guy had room plate legs, bro. He's actually risking. What's this? Catch a freeze? I mean, I mean, we bolted him first. Let's see if we can catch a freeze now. Is he AFK? Oh, he's not AFK. Let's put a bolt in. There we go. I was going to spec him, but he's just always going to count that prey melee. So let's not spec him. He's going with the whip now. I think he's going to fight us, because he usually does give us fights even when we're max, but... I just didn't want to give him the option to log out, to be honest. Let's just take off that smite, I think that'd be a smart idea. Holy fuck, he just... If I didn't take off that smite, bro, that would have been like a 76 AGS. Or a 72, whatever he can max in that gear. I don't think he's going to take off that prey melee. And I should get big bolts while he's in his robes, but instead I'm just hitting zeros. Let's go for a spec, dead? This guy has some fucking insane RNG, dude. I'm just going to put it out there. He's on full robes, 40 HP, and I spec him a zero. Now I'm whipping him zeros. Pull out his robes here. He doesn't pull out his robes. Is he trying to is he trying to run? Catch a freeze, please. There we go, nice. He's venom, so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to run a little bit. And that venom's gonna kick in. Going with the whip right here. Oh, another zero. He does have another age spec, so I gotta be careful. 43, that's what I like to see. I can't hit 45 whips anymore, but I mean it could still go in. But it's not for some reason. I just misclick there. Come on, let's catch a three freeze now. That should be it, yep. Just going for another bolt. DD under him afterwards. So he doesn't know what to pray. He's going for a freeze here. I think we might get this kill. I was just going for an AGS. Actually, no, it's not going for an AGS. If he's going to be praying melee. I'm scared he's just going to turn around and AGS me out. Oh, there's a 44 stack with the Venom. Jesus. Let's just keep barraging him. I feel like he's brewing quite a bit. Catch that freeze there. Nice. We're getting good steps on him as well. Let's DD under him. 33 barrage. I meant to DD. Lol, just died twice. Uh, sounds like you're gonna die a third. Actually, no, I'm just hitting all zeros now. So maybe not. I'm popping an AGS. Oh, 67 for the KO. Good fight. Third death today. He just drops the wall, man. He's kind of kind of demotivated, depressed. I don't know. He's on Scald, so he didn't lose too much. Obviously, he had a water stick, but it's still a nice kill. Good fight, dude. This guy's killing naked people. Chuck up the smite. Oh, I attacked this guy earlier, and he just ran for the hills. Let's put in an AGS. Right off the bat, and we hit a zero because it's an RNG game, and our RNG apparently just sucks. Let's put our... reorganize our inventory. He hasn't started playing melee yet. There it is. Hopefully he's brewed down. Last time this guy got away, I just hit... I just splashed like a billion freezes. 
Let's see if that's the same case here. Freeze him. Okay, I think that's a refreeze. Come on, big bolt. Big bolt. That's decent, I guess. Uh, fuck, I'm just gonna chuck in an AGS dead. What are these specs, dude? What are these specs? Legit. Close the gate. Two, three, freeze him there. Is that not a refreeze? I'm, I'm slow in the brain, apparently. Okay, we still got it next to the gate, though, so that's fine. I don't know how I messed that up. I think I just did it a, a tick too early or something. Take off the helm. Nice, there's a big bolt. 40, let's get another one of those. Or we can just hit a zero. That works too, I guess. Oh, there's a big barrage. 35. Come on. Come on, barrages. I believe in you. 35 for the KO. He couldn't out-eat the barrages. He didn't pray mage, and I got the kill. I think he just killed this guy. He's going to be happy with me. Let's pick up all this loot. Yeah, I fucked up that refreeze. But we still got him because he was just slow on opening the gate. These are some decent loot because we actually found them sculled and he had an ancient stuff and everything. Let's pick it all up and see what he got. All right, let's price check everything. Obviously, we can't pick up everything, but, you know, some still a decent little bit. 450k plus a 50k brace. That's a 500k loot. Good fight, dude. Oh, he actually came back. He actually came back. I can respect it. I thought he was just gonna pull a Houdini. Not even come back. Let's delete him off my friends list. I was gonna add him, see if he's gonna come. Pray Mage. Let's just go with that way, but I think we're still potted up from earlier. Not the most potted, but I guess we're still potted. Let's put a bolt in. Nice. Popping an angler? I mean, popping an eight. Why did I just say popping an angler? I meant popping an AGS. Yes. I was just dropping my angler. God, I'm slow. This guy just got back to back diamond ball E specs. I just pulls out an AGS yes there. He did as well, but he's frozen. He could have killed me there with an AGS. Yes. Catch a freeze? Another oh, zero. Let's just re range pot now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to hit better than that. Come on, give me like a 50 bolt. I'm bolting him off prayer. Let's take off the helm. That bolt's gonna be on prayer, I think. I think I'm... No, I'm not uh, super combat up. I'm just gonna go on the whip anyway, hopefully get some damage in. Don't even have my defender on. Is he gonna pop an AGS at me? Nope. Gotta be ready for it, though. Let's freeze him. There it is. I knew it. I knew it was coming, so I just prayed in time. Thank God. Check out this anglerfish real quick. I think I might just brew here, honestly. I think that would be the smart decision. Let's just brew one more time. And we can restore here. He's going for a whip hit. I think the real reason he ran is he probably didn't have an anti-venom. Because there's no way he's going to be hopping around with no spec, bro. No one does that. But this guy pops out Diamond Ball E spec like there's no tomorrow. He really needs to relax. Big bolt there, nice. He's still praying range though. He's probably going to pray melee. Just popping the spec dead, please. I hit it at 16. Nice. What the fuck is that, dude? That guy's probably risking as well. Come on, give me a nice whip here. He's gonna pray melee after that once so we're just going for a freeze. Wow, he actually prayed range. Come on, freeze him. He's running for it. Freeze him, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him. Good fight. You're not out yet. You're not out yet, brother. You're not out yet. Come on. Zero. Uh, okay, he's praying mage. Just gonna go for a bolt there. And we're gonna hit a zero. Nice. I'm pretty sure he still has a spec. I think. I'm not sure, actually. Hopefully this guy can gate, gate him properly. I don't know if he can. He probably can't, to be honest. He's eating anglerfish there. Then we should be able to refreeze him right away. I think I refroze him on the spot. I feel like he's being unfrozen by now. Put a bolt in. Zero. Come on. We better hit some this. Whip. Nice. It's gonna be brewed down there. Go for another freeze. Go for another whip hit. We just got a really nice whip hit with no uh, augury or Sir Pelmon. I messed up that refreeze. Catch it. Nice. Just barrage him out. Barrage him out. He's pray melee there. Barrage him out. Fake the AGS here. You might pray melee. Good fight. Is he out? Pray mage. He's fighting me back. He's dead. He's dead. Good fight. 28 for the AGS. This guy risking so much actually helped me. I wanted to kill him. But we did get to kill him, this guy, because uh, he helped with the demons, so... Yeah, I guess we can give him immunity for now. All me, he says. Alright, quick price check on our loot. He had a warrior ring and stuff as well. AGS came in clutch there at the end. 660k loot. Good fight.
Alright, I guess we gotta fight with Patton. I was gonna fight this unique guy again, but I think, uh, he wants to f you know, Patton wants to fight. He's my target as well. GL. I had that unique guy completely out of food, 50 HP, and my barrage just gave me shit RNG. I think that's the leader as well, so... Got very unlucky that we couldn't take him out of the game. This guy only has an unholy book, so basically has no defensive bonus. As I say that, I go in and I hit a zero spec. Nice. Is Prey Mage going for a whip hit? Nope, he froze us. Going for a bolt right there. Catch a freeze when he's next to us? Dude, I don't know what's going on with RNG right now. But boom, nice. He's got a DDS, huh? Let's just pop in a spec. Dude, these specs are terrible. Really dumb. Oh, there's a big barrage. I'm feeling a lot of lag right now. It's a little bit weird. Like, a lot of lag. Let's go for a freeze there. Venom's kicking in as well. Going for a bolt. He just changed his prayer. Spec him. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to spec on this newfound ping. I don't know what just happened. It was fine a second ago. Like, I was literally fighting here like 10 minutes ago. Come on. There we go. Just popping an AGS. Dead. 68 with a 10 Venom stack. Good fight. Jesus. That's a 78 HP stack. No emblem, unfortunately, but we still got some loot. Good fight. So I got a hit, I got a kill, unfortunately on Skull, so not the biggest loot, but still 200k. So you guys know how I got the Bulwark for the purpose of tanking teams? Well, I was in World 18 just doing some 1v1s, so I didn't actually bring the Bulwark because there's a PvP timer and it's basically only 1v1s and teams don't really have much effect there. So obviously I just brought my Arcane and I didn't really bring the Bulwark for a tank shield. Also, I didn't bring a Stamina, and I didn't bring a Glory Telly because I was just going to use Law Runes from KBD to Telly out. And I was camping World 18. Then my friend Law said that he found a level 89 with a Dragon Crossbow scald up. Now, Dragon Crossbow is like 10 mil. And on a level 89, they probably only have like 52 prayer. It's a pretty easy smite. Little did I know, this was a Fool's Bait. My friend had just made me log into a Fool's Bait. And I was chasing them all the way east towards Rev Cave entrance with no Glory Telly and no stamina potion with about 20 run energy. So eventually, you know, they get me all the way east, I'm almost right next to the Rev Cave entrance, or past all the dragons, I have zero run, I right click his pile, no stamina, I do see it, I, I mean there is a glory there, but I don't pick it up. Right now my friend's just fighting the other guy, there's a level 77 scout here. You know, I think it's all fine, we've just killed some solid rogue warrior noobs, everything's gonna be great. I'm dropping my bruise to pick up some loot, and uh, then this happens. <gasps> run, 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 Max just logged in. So fools have managed to bait me all the way to the Rev Cave entrance. You can see two people logging in Ancestral. They have a guy with a Ballista. I have, I think, about 11 brews, maybe 10 brews. I pick up, yeah, I have like 10 brews when they get on me. I pick up my brews. You can see them get a follow with me. Now, they're on a small man trip. So if I had a glory, I probably would have got out of this fine. I could have just ran south. And if they did TB me, I could have just tanked on Hoggoblins for about five minutes. But here's the problem. I didn't pick up the glory. I didn't even realize the guy I killed had a glory. I didn't have any run, so I had to run all the way from basically Green Dragon's Rev Cave entrance all the way west back to the KVD gate and then go inside there. That was about, I don't know, 10 mini maps with no run. They could two step me every two steps if they wanted to, and they could get a bunch of freezes and do loads of damage on me. And before they even had to TB me, they had all that space to do the damage on me. So they basically, if they got a full on me, they had me for seven, eight minutes, because it would take me like three minutes alone just to get back to the gate. Here you can see I actually get clawed off prey melee there and it only hits a 1 and he blisters me a 0 off prayer again and then he pot tricks and then claws me again off prayer and hits another 0 so they got some really shitty RNG there. Those both could have been like 70 claws and taken down loads of bruise and taken down loads of damage. Now at this point they'd already tried to skim TB me once and it failed and then they just skimmed TB me, tried to skim TB me again but the skim didn't hit again. So they only managed to land a half TB on me. At this point I got out with, I don't know, like 8 brews on, with only 2.5 minutes to tank. I was fine. I got out. 
they really got no damage in the time they ran, uh, in the time they had me from Rev Cave entrance to KBD gate. They could have done a lot more brew damage if they're, uh, if they had more people, obviously, like they usually do on their normal trips, or if their claw specs hit, because they actually, like, I don't know, did quite a few claw specs off prayer that just hit all zeros, and they really did no damage, so I did manage to get out fine. If they had more people, or they just had better RNG on their side, without my tank shield, only four restores, I could have died and even potentially got some item from my arcade. And yeah, we did manage to get out with, I don't know how many, four, five, six brews left. Almost, you know, that could have gone wrong. Right now, like, fools are on their summer vacation, so instead of having 50 people, they only have, like, 10. If they had 50 people, let's be honest, I was probably dead there. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to end off the video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be welfare, and we'll sell all the loot at the end of that. Alright, this is just me picking the winner of the AGS giveaway. You can see there's 1,467 entries. If we just pick a random comment, it will pick the winner. And the winner of the AGS giveaway is XIX Anonymous XIX. And his RSN is Crimson Arrow. And he wanted to get me the Suffering as the next upgrade. And I did get that. So, you know, good choice, I guess. I'll add you in game. The easiest way to contact me is through Twitter. But we can also just add each other and I will get you that AGS. Congratulations.